Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another Lego Star Wars review here on Bill Brooker Knight's channel. And today we're going to be looking at something a little different. We're going to be taking a look at one of the new buildable figures. I guess they're not that new anymore. Uh, but one of the newer things from the brand. And specifically Kylo Ren, the arch nemesis, the arch villain from Star Wars Episode 7. Uh, let's see here, recommended ages 8 to 14, but we don't care about that. Set number 75117, it's just called Kylo Ren and contains 86 pieces. So this is kind of Lego Star Wars, the Lego Star Wars version of Bionicle. Um, they did the whole Hero Factory thing a while back, that didn't do so well. Uh, I don't really know how these are doing. Uh, I think they're fairly popular though. Uh, I don't see why not. They're pretty good. This is definitely my favorite of them. I've already got a build here as you can see. Um, the others, not crazy about, uh, but they're still not bad. Here's an instruction booklet, I'll show you a better look at that in just a minute. And here is the box. Uh, let's see here. It's about as tall as the figure itself, as you can see. Uh, but, you know, it's not pre-built or anything. On the back here, it just shows you the couple of things it does. And a nice big picture of it. And I believe that's about it. And it just has the buildable figures logo. and breeze at the bottom. Figurine a construir or figura para construir. Interesting. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the model. Alright, real quick, here is the instruction booklet. Uh, smaller than usual, but follows basically the same lines other than having a bunch of different pieces than what we're used to. Uh, it also uses some Technic parts. It's mostly Technic and then Bionicle-esque stuff. And at the back, you got your parts list, uh, some advertisements for the other buildable figures, three good guys and three bad guys and that's about it and here is the model for a comparison I'll put the Kylo Ren minifigure at the bottom so as you see these are pretty tall here's a hand my hand my hands are bigger than most people's probably so yeah pretty tall very nice figure by the way one of the things I was very impressed with is the enormous cape it's actually two cloth pieces, one for the legs, and then one on the back is the actual cape. And I was very impressed with this one especially. A uh, very nice piece of fabric that they included in there. Uh, the figure really only has one function, whoops, other than hopefully being able to stand up. And that is, there's this lever at the back, and if you pull that, the lightsaber will swing. If you don't like that, you can obviously take it off and it'll look a little more realistic. The head has quite a bit of mobility, as you can see, um, and it also comes off in case you want to behead him because he was so mean and killed Han Solo. Uh, and pretty much the whole figure has a lot of mobility, lots of different joints on these figures, as I would expect from a Bionicle-esque figurine. Uh, the lightsaber is quite big, as you can see. And that comes off pretty easily. That's how it attaches to his hand. 
as you can see. It's not that, is it? Yeah, right there, that's how it attaches. And the two uh, cross guard pieces, I guess you'd call that, those are made of regular lightsaber blades for minifigure scale lightsabers. It's also got a very nice chest plate here. Um, and as you can see, there's a design for the legs. A little skinny. Um, I don't think he was quite that skinny in the movie, so that's probably my biggest complaint. But overall, this is definitely my favorite of the buildable figures, by far. It's the most realistic looking, probably because you know you don't see his face. You just got the mask there instead. The other, the others have a bit more of like an animated look, I guess, which I'm not really crazy about. But this one is very nice, and I do like it a lot. And it's actually bigger than I thought it would be, so that's definitely another bonus. So, I'll go ahead and get to my final thoughts once I can actually get him to stand up. Looks like he's walking the tightrope there. No. No. There we go. There we go. Stay. Stay. Good boy. So overall, I think Kylo Ren is pretty cool. As I've said a few times now, is definitely my favorite of the build buildable figures so far. It would be cool if they went back and did some of the older characters instead of just Force Awakens characters. I'd love to have a Jar Jar Binks one. I'm sure everybody would. Um, there's plenty of other options there as well, but I think we need Jar Jar first. But anyway, I'll go ahead and get to the ratings. For the build, it's definitely an interesting build. It's not like what I'm used to, because I, I was sort of a little late for the Bionicle craze of the late 90s, early 2000s, I think it was. Uh, but I liked it. It was fun. It was simple, other than like eh, popping the joints together. Uh, I'm sure younger kids probably not going to have a whole lot of fun with that part, but there's not a whole lot of that. Um, as, I, as I said, I love the cape. Very nice design on that. Uh, and like I said, one of the only... I keep saying like I said. As I've mentioned before, um, the legs are a little skinny. I guess the arms are too, but they kind of bulked it up with the shoulder plates and stuff. And they did on the legs as well, but not quite enough for my taste. So I wish they would have done that just a little more, but that's really my only complaint. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention the price. Well, I'm a little less enthused now looking at this. I had gotten this as a gift, so I wasn't aware, but Kylo Ren is $25, $24.99 for less than 100 pieces. Not too crazy about that. This shouldn't be more than 10 to 15 bucks. I would say 15 because it's, you know, it's kind of a, a cooler novelty item, but 25 is really, really pushing it. So I'm gonna have, definitely going to have to take down on the ratings for that a little bit. Anyway, for the builds, that's the, that's the uh, category of ratings I mostly take down on uh, the price for. So normally I would probably give this a 9, but I'm going to have to give it a 7.5 because of the price. That is way too much. Um, and it's been out for a while now, too. You might be able to find some discounts on eBay or Amazon. I would definitely see if you can, because $25 for 86 pieces, even if there are more rare specialty pieces, still, it's too much. Too much for this. Um, moving on. For play, this isn't really for that, um, unless you get a few of them together and, you know, you do this. Do this. Uh, all day long, if you want. But as it stands by itself, it's really more of a display item, I think. So, I'm going to go with a 6. And for display, um, definitely going to be the highest rating. It's really nice looking. Uh, quality pieces, quality fabric, as I mentioned. So, I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. Just remember, guys, try not to pay that $25. That is too much for this. Um, Maybe give it some more time, look for some uh, good deals on eBay. I have found amazing deals on many different things, including LEGO, on eBay. So definitely check that out, even if it's used. As long as it comes from a reputable seller, definitely look into that. Uh, I've saved a lot of money on movies, LEGO, books, all kinds of stuff uh, on eBay. And, Am and Amazon too, uh, but Amazon usually tends to charge just a little bit more than eBay but you are going to get it brand new. And if you're a Prime member, you're going to get the, the nice shipping and stuff. Anyway, I didn't mean to get into a whole spiel about buying. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in to this review. I do have a couple of uh, LEGO reviews coming out pretty soon, including one more LEGO Star Wars and a LEGO Minecraft one. 
So stay tuned for that. Lots of other things here over the summer. We're going to have more video game playthroughs. Of course, more BB09 files. That's, that's my main priority. And I really do want to get a brick fill mill, guys. I really do. Just very time consuming. And now that I'm off of school, I definitely want to make time for a brick film or two. So stay tuned for that. I promise I will have at least one, hopefully more than that, before the summer is out. Because I really do want to work on that some more. It is a little annoying because of the webcam I have, that I have to have it right connected to the computer. And that means the table has to be right there and it gets in the way. Plus I got my bird in there. It's kind of a pain, but at the same time it is a lot of fun. I just wish I had some better uh, accommodations for that. And I'm going to try and look into that, especially since I have a laptop now. Uh, but I did lose a software CD that I normally use to record it. So, as you can see, lots of problems, but I'm going to figure out some way to do this. So I promise I'll have some more Brick Films out, because I know that's, that's really what you guys like the most on the channel. Um, in fact, the LEGO Smile vs. Indominus Rex video uh, recently surpassed my Roxio video as my most popular one. 12,000 views or so. So thanks a lot, guys. I really did not see that coming. 12,000 views does mean a lot to me. So, um, thanks a lot for that. Another thing I want to mention, my grandfather actually uh, asked me to post a video that he made on the channel called Hollywood's Golden Age. It's doing quite well, but if you haven't seen it yet, uh, I'd appreciate it if you checked it out, left him some feedback. I know he would really appreciate it, and I would as well. He wanted to kind of see what it was like putting a YouTube video on via my channel before he starts his own. Plus, he's, he's, he thinks that Microsoft is an NSA or something, and they're going to spy on him and take all his information. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why you, he thinks that's going to happen in setting up a YouTube account. Although I did set up mine a while back, so maybe Microsoft is more involved now. Or maybe it was Google. I don't really know. But anyway, if you would like to check that out, it's only about four minutes long. I would really appreciate it, and he would as well, if you did. So, lots of exciting stuff here already on the channel and coming soon. So, I hope you will look into that, and I will see you next time. Please don't forget to leave a like. A comment, all kinds of shares, all kinds of stuff, social media, if you liked the video, which I hope you did. So, I will see you next time, and goodbye.